Hello guys, welcome back to I guess the next video number what what are we on eight? I already told you ten was John Cena, nine was Kurt Angle, and eight. This one's gonna be a little weird for a lot of people. Number eight was Stone is Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's right, that's right, Eddie Guerrero. I won't tell you. You gotta watch, and I'll tell you who you eventually what number he eventually is. But Stone Cold at number eight. Why do I have him that at number eight? Remember, these aren't as who of who I think are the best. This isn't who I like. Who I like the most doesn't mean anything for you know like that you would think you know you're like oh no no this guy's way better. No no no. This isn't about this isn't about who I think are the best. These are just, if I wanted to watch wrestling, who I want to watch, you know, what are the 10 guys I want to watch and, and do something with. And it's the guy that I'm telling you right now. It's not, I'm not telling you, this is the greatest guy ever. This is it. You know, I'm not saying that. So it's just my opinion. Who are my favorite guys? It's just my, my opinion, you know. And if you have a problem with that, you can, you can have a problem with that and make your own video. I really don't give a damn. But here goes Stone Cold. The reason I think I have him this at number eight, I wasn't, I wasn't biggest fan of him as everyone else was. I was a fan, but I wasn't as huge of a fan as everybody else. I was more of a fan of The Rock, The Rock, and um, and what's his name? And yeah, I was more of a fan of The Rock and The Hardy. That's pretty much my attitude right there. That was my attitude over The Rock and them. But I, I still like Stone Cold. I, my cousins were obsessed with Stone Cold. That's who was obsessed. But he was older than me. He was older than like three years. So he was pretty much a teenager. Yeah. So he, he was a Stone Cold fan. He was crazy for Stone Cold. I did actually have Stone Cold stuff. So it was not like I didn't like Austin. But I had um. It was this. I guess this life. Life sized doll of him. Or sorry, like a, you have to put like water or air in it or something like that, and, and you get to punch it. It's like a punch stone cold thingy. You had to punch it and punch it. I had that, you know. I got it for my birthday. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. And we had to put like, I guess I think we put water first, but somehow you know he's got to stuff. I don't know. It was weird how how does I don't remember how it was done. I remember there was sand in the bottom. I remember that, but I forgot how you filled it up. That's what I don't remember. I don't. I don't know if it was water or air. I'm not sure. I'm not very positive sure. We only had it once, and after that, I never used it again. I did have Stone Cold toys. I had like three of them. I remember one of them was missing a leg. The other one was missing the head, and then another one was uh, the other one. What the hell? That one was the one that actually talked. That one was always perfect. But the thing is that it wouldn't be able to move the arms and the legs. So I did. I did. Um, I did. I did like Stone Cold a lot in the past. I was a huge fan of him, but I, not as much as the guys that are ahead of him, you know. But I, I was a fan of Stone Cold. I did think Stone Cold was pretty good. He's pretty. He, I think he's pretty great, you know. He's done so much. I guess if you would tell me who are my top four most inspirational people in the business ever, I would say Stone Cold is definitely in the top three. Definitely in the top three. This guy changed a whole lot about the game. And I'm just saying, this guy has... Is, it's pretty, pretty beastie in that ring. That's all I gotta say about Stone Cold right there about that stuff. But now I'm getting to my reason why I like him. I think it's that his character. His character is just badass. You know who doesn't like a character like that? I enjoy it. Uh, um, it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool character. Uh, I remember watching this uh, VHS. I remember it was Stone Cold. I think it was like a little documentary about him just. For his his rise to the top. It was my cousin had a, a little a little movie about him that they had released, and it went from the Royal Rumble until WrestleMania. The one Mike Tyson was involved, the Shawn Michaels one, and it had him uh, giving a I guess like a little commentary and all this and stuff and that a little story about it that they showed the whole build up to WrestleMania and through with Stone Cold, what Stone Cold was doing, all this and that, and I remember I, ev I would watch I watched it like. I remember, like, I think five, six times in a row because I once stood, uh, stayed at their house for a sleepover. And we watched, like, five, six times in a row without getting bored. And I don't know why, but it was, it was a good one. 
I uh, kept seeing shot on Michael getting punched in the face by Mike Tyson for some reason. I think was it like that? I can't remember. But I remember Stone Cold was in it, and I remember that one. Uh, it's just, you know, I've I've been a fan of him, but if you know, I'm not gonna say. You know, there's a couple things I don't like. I don't know what it is, but some of the couple things I'm not a big fan of him because it takes a lot for me to be a fan of the guy. No, I'm just playing. I, I like everybody, man. That's my philosophy. You know? Oh, that's my philosophy. Uh, maybe I should mention the guys, the other guys that didn't make the cut. Guys that I also really do like a lot. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho one of those guys. I don't know. I think it's just, I don't know. There's no real reason why I like him. Chris Benoit, the main reason I like him is the guy was crazy in the ring. The guy was fun to watch in the ring. And his theme song was pretty fucking badass, if you ask me. I, I think that's one of my favorite theme songs ever. You hear it. Oh, man. It's like, whoa. Oh, my God. I, th I thought he had one of the best theme songs ever. That's my opinion right there, Chris Benoit. You know? But out of the ring, I don't know. He went a little crazy. And I guess what? This is a fun fact. He committed all that on my birthday. Yes, the bir my birthday. On my birthday, he committed all that. <laughs> fun fact for you guys to know now. Fun fact. And I remember the next day on Monday Night Raw, that's the day I got my Xbox 360. And yeah, that's the day I got my Xbox 360. And... I, st I was watching WWE by that time already, but I wasn't in it yet, but I, I wasn't like as much as I am in it right now, but I was I was starting to watch it again. I was starting to watch Raw, and I was starting to watch uh, ECW, and you know, I was watching, I was watching, but you know, it happened on my birthday, but let's get back to Stunner, the st Stone Cold. This video should be about Stone Cold, nothing else, you know, right? But I did have to mention the consideration. Uh, who else do I want to put in this? AJ Styles is number one, another one. He, so he would be like 13 around there. Who else would be in there? Brock Lesnar is another guy. And let me let me see. 15, I don't know. I don't know really know who would be there. I want to say Rikishi because I loved him. I loved his everything. The dancing thing. The sting face. I loved everything about Rikishi except his, I did it for the rock. You know, except for when he ran over Stone Cold. Oh, yeah, that story on with Stone Cold was also something crazy. And all the destruction Stone Cold caused, all the stuff he did, the guy was, the guy, the guy, is a, is a beast. That's why he's number eight on my list. That's my reasons for it. Maybe you have him way higher on your list, and that's great. But this is my list, and I don't know if you'll enjoy my list, but this is my list. And I'm just saying... So this is the only time you'll see Stone Cold in these videos and these little series right here. Those series, I will use it more, but this is the only time you'll see him in this series right here. And you'll see more of Eddie Guerrero, maybe, maybe not. We don't know. We'll see him for sure one more time. We know that for sure. If I keep, if I can keep posting these videos up, but there he goes, Eddie Guerrero for the win. Stone Cold number eight. Who will be number seven? Tune in and stay and watch. I like to please. Please ask you to comment, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. And have a nice day, biscuits.